we need to talk about necklaces that go for big money, brands to look for, um, different things to look for, because some of them can go for crazy, crazy money. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we have done a video, or I should say, I have done a video on clip on earrings, vintage clip on earrings, vintage brooches. And I'm going to be the first to tell you that I pretty much am clueless about jewelry. I bring most of my jewelry over to Whatnot and let you guys determine the value. I start my items low and let you guys bid and decide the value. But anyway, I do like to do research videos. I have been doing research videos on this channel. I call them my Bolo category videos for, is it coming up on four, maybe five years? Ah, I have almost 200 category videos, so definitely check them out. But um, most recently, here are the two I did. I did um, brooches that sell for thousands and clip on earrings, what to look for. So I decided that we need to talk about necklaces that go for big money, brands to look for, um, different things to look for, because some of them can go for crazy, crazy money. This is not a deep, deep dive. We're just going to cover the basics, some of the main things to look for. Now, Costume jewelry, 14 karat gold. I mean, there are so many different types of jewelry. The 14 karat gold, of course, those are going to be bolos. We're kind of going to skip those in this video and talk about some of the costume jewelry brands. And I'm just going to hit a few. There are so many to look for. So let's get started here with the first thing that I typed into the search was A, B. All right. And AB stones, AB necklace. If you search this, you are going to see some of the most beautiful jewelry ever. I mean, just stunning jewelry. Now, what this is also going to lead you to is big money brands to be on the lookout for. So let me give you an example here. This is a Juliana. And look at this stunner right here. This is Miriam Haskell. And if I chop up the way these things are supposed to be said, I apologize. Pronunciation is not my, um, my best trait. <laughs> if you've been here a while, you know that. And most of you just forgive me for that. And I appreciate it so much. But we're going to just do our best at sounding these things out. So Miriam Haskell, Haskell. And here is the marking on the back. But look how beautiful it is. 698 on that one. This is called a Sherman. That's a brand I've never heard of. And this one says AB Blue Crystal Rhin Rhodium Plated. So you want to put as much detail in your title as possible. Here's that word that I was saying wrong, and I can't remember how you guys told me to say it. Sherparelli? Sherparelli? I don't know. But that's what it looks like. If you can find this brand, you will see it in my clip on earrings video. You will see it in the brooch video. This brand is big money. Look for it. But this necklace is absolutely stunning. Here's a new, another Juliana. Juliana. Regency. Regency Parua. I don't know how to say that either. This is from the 1950s, but you see the AB crystals or stones or whatever they're called. They pop. They're beautiful. People collect these. People want these. Hobe, I think is how you say this one. Noel Farm Girl Scavenger has talked about this brand a lot. Um, just stunning, beautiful necklaces. Here's another one of those Sherapelli or whatever it is. Trifari. We all know Trifari can be big money. I'm going to show you some more Trifari here soon. Looks like this one may have had to have been relisted because we're seeing that twice. Juliana again. This one says vintage signed blue. A uh, This is a Hollycraft. Look how pretty that is. 
Holly Craft. Let's see, another Holly Craft. Trifari. West Germany, Austria. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Made in Japan. Some of those can go for really big money too. Those are sometimes just signed West Germany. That's all it'll say. Or Austria. They're not marked anything else. So that's something to be on the lookout for. So just going to show you a few more of these. These are really, really fancy. Florenza. Another Juliana. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. These are just amazing. Crown Trifari. So there's Crown Trifari and there's Trifari. The difference is um, for the marking when it's signed that the T has a little crown over it. That's one way to know. I'm sure there's more detail. If you guys are a jewelry person, feel free to drop your knowledge down in the comments. This one is Vendum. I don't know if Vendum is the brand or if some something specific to jewelry. So everybody check the comments for more information because, again, I'm pretty jewelry, uh, I don't want to say ignorant, but <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about it. I know some of the main brands, but, you know, there's just so many things that go into play when you're determining value. And some of them can shock you. Some of them can be missing stones and still go for big money. There was somebody that posted something in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It went for, I think, over $1,000 and it was missing stones. Just crazy. So here are some Trifari big money necklaces. Trifari also shows up in my brooches and clip-on earrings video, so you can check that out. These do range in price. Not all Trifari and not all of these brands go for crazy big money. These are some of the crazy big money ones. So do your research, but don't dismiss anything. That's one thing that I'm doing with whatnot is I'm just bringing it. Yes, I know Trifari is collectible. Yes, I know. Am I still bringing it? I'm still bringing it. So check me out on whatnot if you're not already. I am Bola Buddies, all one word, lowercase over there. And if you use my referral link down below to join whatnot, you're going to get $15 to shop. And for those of you that are not interested in buying on whatnot, just come hang out. It's a live show. You can hang out in the chat. It's super, super fun. And I would love to see you guys over there. Just coming and supporting by watching is great. Um, so would love to see you. And definitely click on that link because you never know if you'll see something. Obviously, I'm not starting my items at big money prices. Most of my items start at $5 or less, uh, depending on what it is. If it's a signed piece, I usually start it at $5. Um, some of the more costume jewelry, sometimes I started at a dollar. It really just depends on the night and what I'm selling. I'm not just doing jewelry over there. I have an ephemera show coming up. I'm going to do a toy show. So I'd love for you guys to follow me. Here is Miriam Haskell. And again, just big, chunky, beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Amazing. Look at these prices. So if you can find this big money stuff, wow, you are in the money. Just incredible. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Look, embellished and chunky and beautiful. And these are sets. So of course, if you can find the earrings that match, and I'm pretty sure that sometimes maybe just one earring will be marked, or maybe only the necklace is marked. So keep that in mind. Some things are unsigned. And I talk about that in the brooch video. These are Napier. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Some Napier can go for big money. So that's another brand to kind of be on the lookout for. It does range. Not all of it goes for big money. And these are Joan Rivers. Some Joan Rivers items go for a lot. What I kept seeing were the egg charm. If you find the egg charm, those seem to do really well. There's three of them right here. Boom, boom, boom. And then this one right here is just a bib necklace. Here's another nap here. This one went for $79.99, but you can see this baby is huge. It is a gold tone statement piece. So when you're outsourcing, definitely be on the lookout. Here are Coro. Coro is another great brand. Again, it's going to range depending on the piece and Sometimes you can get jewelry in lots like this and other times. This is just a whole mix of jewelry. I'm going to guess that some of these are bread and butter and some of these are bigger money. 
And that's how, you know, people bid on this item. But look at this Coro necklace, $175. It's a, a three strand necklace. Really, really cool. I mean, some of these you look at and you're like, really, it went for that much money. Here's that Joan Rivers I was showing you guys. Look at the pretty little eggs. Aren't they cute? They are super, super cute. $131.88 on that one. Here are Made in Austria. Just some examples. It looks like this one may have been relisted because probably non-payment. But Austria, definitely look for Austrian or Austria on the items. The other night I was doing a whatnot show and I pulled out some clip-ons. I was looking them over and they were signed in the weirdest spot. Um, I didn't look at any of the jewelry beforehand, but I noticed it when I was showing it. It said Austria and those ended up going for pretty big money. I can't remember what they ended up selling for, but the people that were watching knew that they were a big money bolo and uh, they sold very well over there on whatnot, but they were really pretty. But I didn't even know where it was signed. I was just looking for a signature on all the clip-ons I was pulling out. And that one, I found it. I was like, oh my goodness, it's marked in the weirdest spot. So when you're checking clip-on earrings, you have to be careful to look everywhere. And I talk about that in the clip-on earrings video. I'll link the clip-on earrings video and the brooch video down below. Here, this is a double strand mother of pearl hand knotted necklace. This sold for $157.50. And this brand I've never heard of. So I wanted to show you guys this. It's called Craft. And this is a chunky gemstone necklace. Here's what it looks like. This sold for $158.50 on auction on eBay. Puka shells. Tell me about puka shells. Anybody that knows about puka shells, any way to recognize them other than just to start looking through different necklaces and studying it? Is there some giveaway that is going to tell me that it's a puka shell? If anybody knows, let me know in the comments because this went for $174.24. So because um, I'm over here on Terrapeak to see what it actually sold for. Here is a Florenza. This is really beautiful. Also, you can see it's marked through. So I'm going to check Terrapeak and that one sold for 175. Here is a West Germany. Again, Western Germany, West Germany. Sometimes they're marked W dot Germany. This sold for, let's see here, $200. Here is an opalite vintage floating opal necklace. This one sold for $290. And the funny thing is, is I had jewelry the other night at my whatnot show, and apparently it was opal. And I had, I think, two rings, two necklaces. I had no idea they were opal. Thank goodness Farm Girl Scavenger Noel was in the chat. And she's like, I think those are opal. She's like, shine a black light on them. So I did all that. And then, you know, I just started the auctions at five bucks each. And then people decided and determined the value of the items. And hopefully they got some deals and they're going to make some money or have a really nice piece of jewelry to wear. Here is an Anne Klein. This one caught me so off guard. Anne Klein. Check it out. Anne Klein is costume, right? But this is Anne Klein couture. So maybe that's what's bringing the value up. Did that one? I think that one actually sold for the $300. Bakelite, if you can find Bakelite, it can be big money. Look at this. Uh, there is a test you can do to figure out if it's Bakelite. I have a video on my YouTube channel. Type in Bolo Buddies Bakelite, and I will show you exactly how to test to see if an item is Bakelite. And sometimes you can get fooled. Sometimes it looks like plastic, and it's not. Um, it's actually Bakelite. This one sold for $362 with free shipping. And here are some other examples of cherry amber bakelite. One went for 164 and one went for 660. So it looks like the cherry amber is a good one. Here is a Givenchy, I think is how you say it. $849, but no, a best offer was taken for 600. Uh, Terra Peak is a great way to see what the item actually sold for. I usually just cut and paste the actual title. 
into the Terapeak search bar and then it pulls the item up and tells me the actual sold price. And here you can see that this was a good sale. I go into the seller's feedback, type that in, and I can check to see if it sold. Now, if they have feedback, we know that it was a good sale. But if there's no feedback, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Usually my next step then is to go in and see if the item is actively listed in the seller's store. And if it is, then I know that it did not sell. If it is not, then I'm going to assume it was a good sale. And I try to do that with all of my category videos to help you guys, you know, know that the information is accurate. This one is not earrings, but this Van Clef or Cleef and Arpels is a brand that I kept seeing in necklaces over and over and over again. But I wanted to show you this $10,475. Most of the necklaces were 14 karat and said different things like that. So I didn't pull those as a comp, but these did not say that in the title. I don't know if they are or not, but this is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. And you can see here that this was a good sale of $10,475. Here's another one that is a pair of earrings as well that sold for $6,850. So be on the lookout for that brand. That is a brand that I did not know about. Go over and check out my um, unsigned brooches and the big money clip-ons. I will link those down below. My channel is full of items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. Again, jewelry is not my my thing. I don't know how to describe things. I don't know what things are. I try to do the research videos, but I just get more confused. I bought a gemstone tester and it's the most confusing thing that I've ever seen. Um, I don't like to do the acid test. So to me, it's just easier to bring it to whatnot and sell it to my viewers, people who are interested in buying jewelry. Um, have I sold some things and people are like, oh my goodness, you just sold it for that. Yeah, I've had a few of those and that's okay. That is okay. I want you guys to get deals because what happens when you get deals? You come back and see me and that's how you build a business. So a lot of you guys have said that you don't want to sell on whatnot because you have to build a following and you do have to build a following. I've also heard people see, say that when they sell on whatnot, they're going through their eBay store and they're bringing stuff that has not sold. Are you going to be build a good following doing that? Probably not. Um, I've also heard people say, I'm going to bring the things to whatnot that I don't want to sell. Are you going to build a good following doing that? Probably not. So my recommendation, if you want to sell on whatnot, and if you do want to sell on whatnot, I do have a referral link down below. You can click on that. That's going to say that I referred you and it may help you get accepted quicker. Most of the people that have used my link have told me they've been accepted um, within 24 hours. Those are the people that have told me, not everybody's like messaging me, telling me that they got accepted. But check out that link down below if you want to sell, but know that you're going to have to build your following just like anything else. Um, again, I would love for you to come over and follow me on whatnot. Uh, referral link down below. If you want to join with it, you're going to get $15 to shop. I'll also link my upcoming shows in the description, but definitely check out that brooch and clip on earrings video because super, super full of knowledge and mispronunciations. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe.